Mandatory safety inspections could soon make a return to Utah. 2018 was the first year Utah did not require the inspections, and now a powerful state lawmaker is looking at bringing them back. Fox 13's Ben Winslow has the exclusive story. Utah eliminated mandatory vehicle safety inspections for personal vehicles in 2017. Now the Senate minority leader is considering a bill to reinstate some level of inspection. When they took all safety inspections away, my goal is to put those pieces back in place that we can handle. Senator Karen Maine says she's exploring whether to require them for tires and brakes. I've had people reach out to me and say, we need to do something. People need to take care of their vehicles. They are a, a weapon, and if they're not taken care of. But data recently compiled by the Highway Patrol shows that accidents where faulty equipment is a factor hasn't really increased that much. We haven't measured a significant difference since the change. The Utah Highway Patrol has been tracking vehicle safety since the law changed. Here's what they found. The number of safety inspections plummeted in 2018 and 2019, right after the legislature eliminated them. The Highway Patrol has documented some slight increases it investigated where faulty equipment is a contributor. The biggest problems, the agency says, are tires and brakes. They're the most represented, especially in weather-related accidents, um, probably the most likely to have an, an impact on a crash. Here's where the Utah Highway Patrol identified faulty equipment in fatal crashes, where tires and brakes again were the biggest factors. The UHP did see a dip in 2020 when fewer cars were on the road in the pandemic. But some lawmakers say it shows what's in place is working. I think that what you're saying is this still has the potential to be a problem, but we're not seeing catastrophic change because of the policy shift. Senator Maine says she's still looking at addressing whether some safety inspections need to be reinstated. We need to do something. I'm looking particularly at tires and, uh, and brakes, those kind of things. Those are the two items that can kill. And I think we need to, if you're going to drive, you need to be, have a responsible vehicle to drive on the roads. Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.